You're watching Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Ihr guckt hier Vapor Scene bei Vapor Trails TV. Viel Spaß! Hello, 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 hello. It is just coming up to 30, oh, five, five past 10 in 30 seconds is what I was going to say. So I'm around about 25 hours and five minutes late for my show. <laughs> Many apologies for the technical gremlins I had yesterday. And it turns out that this was the cause. It is a micro filter of which I have three in my house. And this particular one decided to go wonky right when I went on air. So there you go. I've got uh, three more in place now, so we should be good. <laughs> so we've got uh, plenty to get through in the next half an hour-ish. Um, I've got some notes from the last show that I will uh, speak about and my little bit of video from Vapefest. And all that is after what can only be called the titles. This scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape. UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. Yes, indeed, it's Wednesday. Bizarrely, it's Wednesday. You're watching Vape Scene here on VapeTrails.tv. Uh, and yes, I've just been looking in chat there. Leanna Orlis, I'm glad you've got 10 microfilters. I might need to steal some of you <laughs> because I had three new ones spare. I always keep some just in case because I had them go before, um, but not when I was just about to go live on Vape Scene. Most annoying. So I need to get some more just in case another one goes. Uh, that, of course, could be it could be all different if uh, bt openreach managed to actually put fiber into my area into my cabinet and i'm desperately trying to get the buggers to do it but there you go i digress on that one um so i've got a few little a few little things from the last show uh, and i just like to offer a little bit of advice to uh, jeremy and and debbie um in relation to easing e-cigarettes into the market i've heard ky jelly is quite good at easing things in um, so maybe you need a, a, a few gallons of that yes um, so <laughs> it was uh, a good show with the guys and nice to catch up with the uh, swath campaign and what andy has been up to and of course we did speak briefly at vapefest uh, as i did with dave kitson um, but we were all going around in different areas uh, filming different things um, but i did catch up with andy for a little bit and he took some comments from me on the uh, interview I did with Linda McAvan. Uh, so that will be all cut into the, uh, the SWAF video. Uh, and the video booth looked really, really good, I have to say. Uh, and I didn't actually get in there. Then what happened? What happened? I don't know. Uh, it was a busy, busy time. It really was. Uh, and uh, lots and lots of people, and lots of lovely people coming up to me and saying hello. Uh, and uh, to, if you're in chat, hello, everybody who came up to me at Vapefest. Nice to see you. And I'm sure I will see you at further vape fests. And talking about vape fests, oh, I'll do that in a minute. I've got a little story here that was on Twitter. Um, and this is uh, the wrong slide. It's uh, that one. There we go. Um, yes, full steam ahead. MHRA guarantees endorsement of BAT's new electronic cigarette. Yes, rather interesting little story that. It is flying around on Twitter. Um, but the second page, um, current e-cig users are also infuriated with the decision to regulate these products as a medicine. Yeah, I would call it pretty much infuriated, mad, incessant, um, to be fair. Um, but, you know, we will continue the good fight. We are not done yet. We've got plenty more uh, in our arsenal, and we're going to keep using it. So we're not going away, MHRA, and we're not going away, European Union. 
uh, European Parliament even. And next month, of course, uh, is when the, uh, the bill goes through plenary in Strasbourg. So we'll see what happens with that one. <sighs> anyway, let's go on and look at a bit of VT that I pulled together from last weekend's Vape Fest. Uh, a little bit different to the rest of the guys. Um, we've all done different shots, which is good because you're not going to see the same thing over and over again. Um, here it is. See you in a minute. Good afternoon. How are we? It's uh, about 10 to 5 uh, and it's Friday the 16th of August and tomorrow it is Vape Fest 2013. <laughs> you can tell I'm excited, can't you? So we are going to be heading off to the Tamworth Arms for the pre-Vape Fest drinking session and uh, to make the room as vapey as possible. There will be quite a few people down there as there normally is and as there was last year. And uh, we're staying there tonight and we're staying there tomorrow. So uh, let's go. Last in the queue. <laughs> Last in the queue. Did you realise the person on the front end of the queue has been here since six o'clock? Ah, that's the time I intended to get here. <laughs> it didn't happen though. What can I say? Right, Daz, this is how many Vape Fest for you? Uh, this is my third. 
third great coast. Third great coast. If you were here last year, in exactly the same place. Exactly the same place <laughs> as last year. <laughs> You've got to get your table. Um, so uh, I guess everyone needs to know, really, how are you doing? How are you feeling these days? I'm doing good. I'm yeah? doing good. Yeah. Had a bit of a uh, bit of a scare, but health scare, but I'm all right now. I'm on the mend. You're looking well. Thank you very much. You're looking better than you were at knees, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. So all these tablets they got me on now. I rattled when I walked there. What happens when you get to our age, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Andy Sutton. Look, it's Marco Van Basten <laughs> from VaporTrails.tv. <laughs> What can I say? It is now 12 o'clock. Uh, Rate Fest has been going now since uh, 10. Uh, and people were actually queuing at 6 o'clock this morning. Yeah, that's right, 6 o'clock this morning in order to get in with the chance of getting some freebies. Uh, and we're going to go around the side and have a look at uh, what's going on with the rest. And it is very, very busy today. So that was it. That was Vapefest 2013. It's now 27 and we're going for some lunch. Back to the studio. It's almost like being back there <laughs> and I've been watching chat as that was rolling by. Uh, thanks for the uh, the kind comments guys. And uh, Rat Finks and Winter Rogue, did I miss you on, on the queue? You may have been in the by the van because I went round the van and then carried on and cut that bit out. 
uh, and Dazza, yes, I did get you. I came and spoke to you, and there was some stuff I actually got, which I almost put in, but I thought, nah. Uh, <laughs> and if you don't know, Dazza and I work together. Um, so uh, it was nice to catch up with, uh, with him outside of work. And it was also nice to catch up with every single person there, uh, and some from last year. Uh, Shane Dowling was there, my buddy from Ireland, uh, and I'm hoping to get across to Irish Vape Fest, which is looking at my sheet, uh, the 16th of November. Um, so uh, maybe I can get across to that. I would like to go to Vape Fest Las Vegas, which is the 20th and 21st of September. So if there are any vendors watching who want to pay for me to go, maybe for the weekend, I'm happy to do it. <laughs> I looked at the prices of the rooms. The rooms aren't too bad. It's the flights. Oh my God. Uh, they are not cheap. So uh, Las Vegas may be out of the window, but um, Ireland is a good possibility. So I might look into going and uh, catching up with all the Irish vapors when I'm over there. Uh, I also got a chance to meet uh, Davy Malik, who I hadn't met before. Uh, and believe it or not, I hadn't met Gary Dibley. Um, I mean, I've been, this is the 43rd vapor scene. Um, so uh, I've been around for about a year now with Vapor Trails TV uh, and I'd never met Gary Dibley. I had, of course, met Dave Kitson before and Andy Sutton. Um, so it was nice to finally meet the Modmeister himself. And talking of Modmeisters, um, mm, what are these? Oh yes, uh, these are the Gary Dibley stainless steel tips, of which I have two sets. Oh yes, because one of them is for me, and one of them is for you. And coming up in part two, you will see how you get your hands on one, and it's a corker, I have to say. Um, so let me go into the uh, into the ads and then when we come back finish off about vape fest uh, and then uh, we'll go into the rest of the show so i will see you my friends in two vape scene is proudly sponsored by health ev uk purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid Now it's back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And welcome back to my vape filled room. <laughs> I'm vaping on some rather delicious DY4, which was made by our very own Dave Kitson. Uh, I pinged him a, a DM on Twitter on Friday night and said, don't forget to bring me some DY4, expecting, you know, a 10 mil bottle. He brings me about 50, 60 mils in a big bottle. <laughs> and it's very good stuff. I said, what strength is it? He says, oh, 26-ish. Um, 
<laughs> but it is very tasty. And I must just, before I forget, uh, I also caught up with Tim as well, um, both at Vapefest and at the Tamworth Arms uh, on the Friday and the Saturday, uh, as well as other people. And I will not forget the inebriated hug I got from Sarah Ratfinks. Thank you very much. And Ricky, you can hug me next time. It's okay. You can just form an orderly queue. I've got plenty to go around. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, next year's Vape Fest. Will there be one? It's going to be much bigger. If you think about last year, it was around about a thousand people. This year, it was in excess of two thousand people. Um, and next year, four thousand, six thousand, maybe. Who knows? It is what we make it. At the end of the day, uh, it is what we do. So. If we can get as many people to the next one as possible, it's only going to bolster our campaign uh, to keep what we love um, as it is and not be mucked about with. So that's the only way we're going to do it, really. And it's a shame we didn't get some media coverage. Um, but as Kat and the guys were saying earlier on, you know, maybe they don't want to do it or maybe there's some other forces in there. Who knows? Who knows? OK. Oh, yeah, by the way, did you know Wayne has got a billet box? Yes, <laughs> he was shown as his billet box uh, all weekend and uh, shown as where the magic happened uh, and it happens in there, in the billet box. So uh, yes, <laughs> it's a lovely looking device and I have to say I spotted some very nice devices uh, while I was milling around uh, and I've got a few of them coming up on the show um, shortly, um, in the next few weeks-ish. Once I, get, uh, once I get them, I will bring them to you. But I was very fortunate to win a raffle prize. Oh yes, and there it is. You may have seen it on Twitter because I tweeted that picture in the afternoon. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, yes, there was some uh, nice stuff in there. Quite a lot of nice stuff. Uh, smock pipe uh, and uh, Jack Vapor VIP. I'm looking at my list here. Uh, Janta New Classic. And I'll bring all those things to you over the shows. It'll give me something to uh, to film when I'm out and about in Scotland mostly uh, and lots and lots of juice uh, and uh, I was going to talk about one of them tonight but I'm going to keep that for next week um, I'll do a little vid on that tomorrow um, because I've been vaping on it since Saturday and it is very nice so I'll bring you that next week um, okay let's go into this week's show as yours uh, and when we come back out of that I will have the winner and then we will see how you can get your hands on some of the stainless steel drip drips Ooh, see you in a minute. And now it's time for Show Us Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK.
show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. And I was watching chat and didn't notice that the video was on its way out. <laughs> well, there you go. Now, here's a little thing. Okay, I had a few people come to me at Bakeface and said the pics are moving a bit fast. And then I had some people saying that it needs to be a bit shorter. So would you like, chat, the pictures to move a little bit slower next week? Yes or no? Go for that. And while you're doing that, uh, I'll show you who's won this week. And it is. It's Clive Crumpton with his huge pick. Huge pick. It's very wide. Uh, of uh, loads of juices and devices. Um, so well done, Clive. I will be sending you an email after the show. Uh, and you'll find out how you win your bottle of juice. And if you would like to go into the draw, you know what to do. Yes, indeed. Vapor scene, that way. Vapor scene at vaporchills.tv. And next week's video, I'll make a little bit longer. How's that? I'm trying to cut it down a bit so you get more of other stuff, you see. So I'll make it a little bit longer uh, and then you'll get the pictures for longer. So that's what you need to do. You need to uh, get into the draw to win the bottle of juice, courtesy of John over at Flavor Art UK. Vapor scene at Vapor Charles TV by 12 p.m. on Tuesdays. Now then, let's go to that one. Um, these tips, yes, these tips, um, designed by Mr. Gary Dibley and they were on sale uh, at Vapefest with a proportion of the cost going to children in need. And by the way, £1,000 from the raffle going to children in need. Marvellous, marvellous. I know that Gary was very touched by that um, gift from the uh, committee. So that's going to go into the pot for the appeal this year. So he should get... Um, way in excess of the target that he's already set. So uh, let's make it a good one. Um, so if you would like to get in the draw um, for a set of these tips, this is what you need to do. I'd like to know, please, what did Dave Kay say to Andy to make him laugh like that? Now, in effect, he didn't say anything at all. I've just grabbed that from the video. Um, and that is going to be posted on our Facebook page. So what I'd like you to do is download it Put your comments on your quote for Dave Kitson to why he's made Andy um, laugh like that. Send it to me at the address vaporscene at vaporchills.tv. Now, I need these, please, by 4 p.m. on Sunday, this Sunday, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Dave K to judge, okay? Because I'm, you know, the pictures of him and Andy. So I'm going to ask Dave K to judge, and he's going to pick the winner. He doesn't know that yet because I've not spoken to him. But you'll know by Sunday because I'll uh, I'll get hold of him. So by 4 p.m. this Sunday, okay, to vapor scene at vapor uh, and then um, next Tuesday, I will declare the winner, and I will then send these three tips to that winner. So there you go. Oh, okay, I'm hot. Ooh, I've been in this room since nine o'clock <laughs> with my lights on. After last night's technical difficulties, I just had everything set up and I've just been sat here waiting, watching the show. So there you go. That's how you get yourself uh, three of those stainless steel tips by Mr. Gary Dibley. Right then, oh, moving on. Let's go into a little Juicy Juicy. And this is by our very own Davey Malik. See you in a minute. Juicy 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 Hi guys. Um, I'm coming to you today to give you a review of a couple of juices I've received um, completely free of charge. I'm going to be as honest as I can about them. Um, they were received from Dean at eLiquid World. Um, the last time I reviewed a couple of his juices, I did quite enjoy them. They were Hanson, there was a Spearmint one, and um, Menthol Sensation. And I did quite enjoy them. Now, I found that quite strange because I remember when I first started finding out about all these different juices, um, a lot of the forums were saying about don't use Hangson, don't use Decan. But when I tried these as basic flavours, they were absolutely fine. I had no problems with them whatsoever. So I've been sent another couple of juices, um, and these are fruity ones. So I've got cherry and grape. Um, I do notice as well that this time round from the last review I did of these, there is now the tactile label on it, so big thumbs up from me on that one. So I've got a bog standard dripper um, on my Z Max Z Max, 
So I'm just going to start with the cherry. Let's give that one a go. Nice bottles, by the way. Once again, nice blunt needle tip. Good for filling tanks, if that's your thing. Put a couple of drops on there. There we go. That's reading 1.8. very sweet. That's a very sweet cherry. I can get the cherry flavour from it but it's more like um, like a glassier cherry than a, a the fruity fruity cherry. The vapor's not bad. Um, I believe it's a, a an 1820 PG VG mix. So the vapor production isn't bad. That is 18 milligrams um, the throat hit isn't that good on it, I'll be perfectly honest, and the flavour, like I said, it is more a very sweet cherry. So it's not bad, it's not something I would use constantly, probably not something I generally buy, but it's not a bad flavour. So I'm just going to burn this off and then we'll try the other one. So, we'll go on to the grape. Couple of drops in. Oh, I don't like that. Right, that does not taste like grapes. I don't know what that tastes like. I can't describe that flavour. I'm going to have to... Uh, okay. <laughs> right, that's not great. Um, the throat it is a lot better on that one. The vapour production is okay. But that's not grape. It doesn't taste like grapes whatsoever. Um, but as we all say all the time, flavour is subjective. Some people might like it. I don't. Um, the cherry one, I could possibly have now and again. It wouldn't be something that I would have very often. The grape one, I'm never going to have again. Um, that's my opinion. Uh, I'm sorry that it's not a positive one. <laughs> But there you go. So thanks for watching. And I'm sure we will see more of Davy Malik with more juicy juices going forward. And you know, it can't always be good. You know, we've got to be objective. It's got to be either good or bad. Um, but you can't just do the ones you'd like, really. Um, so uh, that was Davy with this week's Juicy Juicy. And like I said, we'll have him back soon. And I've got some more of the Ego Challenge uh, videos to bring you in further shows. Right, I better start wrapping up really because I've gone over, I think. Um, it's thrown me going out at 10 o'clock. <laughs> but let me just tell you what's happening the rest of the week. Tomorrow night, don't forget, it's the Team Talk again. Team Talk does the hazy hour on the old Google Hangout. Um, Sunday, Dave's Tackle Box. Monday, Tin Your Tip with Gary and Mark. Now, I'm here next Tuesday and then Wednesday on Team Talk, Catherine Devlin is going to be guesting. And then on Thursday's show, We've got Dr. Farsalinios, and I hope I said that right. I probably didn't, um, but that's next Thursday. So hopefully, fingers crossed, and uh, my micro filters playing ball, I will be here next Tuesday at 9 o'clock. Until then, my friends, have a good week. Have a good weekend. Keep watching the shows. See you soon. Ta-ta.
Vapazine is proudly sponsored by Health eVape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. <laughs>